the banjo lesson. They were both seventh in line. Immediate family rules stated that the last child gets the least amount of attention. Together, that was their luck. A talent to develop, a practice to an applied trade as taught by a tenant living in a ramshackle pastoral setting. The sharecropper, at night, takes a break from the bitterness to chase the evil away, to find his inner calm. He takes time out from the toil to preserve his heart and soul, nurture the rhythm and blues extrapolated from working the earth. This legacy he decided to share with his kin crop. Harmony through key chords, phrasing twists, riff sentenced lyrics. Kin crop, big enough to stand on his own, yet needed help to hold the banjo became, some years back, an apprentice when his mother spoke the truth that he was too old to be tugging on her apron. She, busy cooking over an open flame, an iron pot filled with water, chitterlings, red beans, and leafy greens, fat back bread in the Dutch oven. Shoo, fly, before I make you a pie. Ken, a tantrum stomping out the door, went over to the damp, musty shack. Best better stay out of the kitchen before she lights a fire under your bun, welcomed the old man. He himself chided for not being a baby anymore. At his age... Fixing for trouble. They waited to be called back. Dinner, a solid meal. The agrarian septuagenarian, in the meanwhile, planted a cultivated seed in the young kin's mind. Folk curiosities. He showed the child how to moderate tempo, manage his temper with beats in a measure. Playing a not-so-fancy tune, Ken latched on and discovered an insatiable hunger. The pick and strum was now his sucker. A fine art, visual language, in the present anachronistic representation portrays oral history. The metaphorical undercurrent is a fiction without footnotes. A literacy, literal and literary. Eat, eat, eat ingredients, so try to make them taste really good. <laughs>